All right, now we're going to talk about the economy. Yeah, woo, yeah. Half the listeners' eyes glaze over immediately. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this. If you haven't been paying attention, you probably should still know this. Housing prices have been going absolutely bonkers for the last few years. It's slowed down, but like houses are up, what, 50, 60 percent, even more than that in some really hot markets since the beginning of 2020. And it's not like people are getting paid that amount more in terms of their wages, so it's locked a lot of people out of the housing market. But it looks like the market is starting to freeze up, and usually after it freezes up, prices start to fall, which is good if you're looking to buy a house. Housing paralysis engulfs U.S. buyers with prices starting to fall. Soaring mortgage rates have led to the worst affordability in almost four decades, while sellers are also trapped in place. So for those of you that don't know, most people don't have cash on hand to buy a house. That's probably obvious, but you end up getting a loan called a mortgage, which is that amount spread out over 30 years. And when you get a loan for a lot of money, your interest rate matters a lot. Like if you're paying on a loan over 30 years, the difference between 2% and 6% is huge, especially in your monthly payment. And because most people are budgeting to afford a house based on what they can afford a month, the more that monthly payment starts to go up on average, the less house people can afford. And so the budgets start to go down in terms of affordability on like what people can buy. And so that kind of starts to squeeze the housing market because when money's cheap to borrow, like you can afford to borrow a $600,000 house and pay a a $1,500 mortgage payment. Those interest rates rise up. Interest rates, sorry, that like $1,500 mortgage payment with uh, double the interest rate, now you're looking at like a $400,000, $450,000 house. And when that starts to happen, people stop buying, sellers get stuck, and they start dropping prices to be able to sell the house that they need to sell, whether they like got to move out of state or something. And usually it's just a cascade effect, like once one person's out, you don't want to be the last person out, people get fearful at that point. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling mixed about this. On one hand, people are going to lose a lot of money. On the other hand, I don't think housing prices where they are are really sustainable. It's just like a completely unrealistic goal for someone with the national average salary to expect to afford a home with the way the prices have been rising, and especially with these new rates. So I think something has to correct because you just can't really have a world where like, or as functional society where no one's able to afford to be able to buy a home. I mean, maybe some people would disagree, but I don't know. I don't think like everybody renting forever is a very happy world, especially here. We call it the American dream for a reason. You make that completely unobtainable. It's just not good. Wages being frozen is a big problem too. I'm not saying it's all housing prices, but I I do think the way they've been going up is just unsustainable. The abrupt end of the pandemic housing boom driven by the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes is leading to a sense of paralysis in the market. Market. A sign prices decline will accelerate, with mortgage borrowing costs at the highest level since 2008. House hunters have gone scarce, priced out, or worried about overpaying as America braces for a potential recession. Even big Wall Street buyers are holding fire, waiting for lower values ahead. Everyone is coming to the view that prices are going to decline, said Mark Zandi. Zandi, whatever, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, I'll do respect. Chief economist for Moody's Analytics, until that happens, nobody is gonna buy. I think what this guy is saying is true sometimes, that like fear of a recession can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Once people lose faith that prices are going to continue to go up, they're not going to want to buy an asset that they think isn't going to be worth that much in a year. And on top of it, with banks raising rates, it means they can literally afford less. So you put those two together, that's quite the wombo combo. But then you look at the fact that prices haven't even started dropping yet. People are just starting to think they're going to drop, and that means that everybody's going to be in for a world of hurt. Because if there's already a lack of buyers when prices haven't dropped, they're just being stagnant. That pool of buyers is going to really dry up as soon as the prices really start to be affected. Because right now you might have people that just have to move, some people that still have money that they made during the last two years of the economic boom. 
But once people start losing the equity that they have in their houses, they can't sell their house to move, trust me, the amount of people able to just go buy a house is going to shrink up dramatically. And I don't know at what level it balances back out and the supply starts to like even out with that demand again. But right now, it's hard to say that the demand is going to go up at all. And if the demand is going to stagnate or drop, there's no way the supply is going to magically shrink either. For a while, it was just like a huge seller's market. You put your house on the market, 40 people wanted to buy it in cash instantly. I think those days are over. And it'll be nuts seeing houses actually dropping in price for the first time in a few years. I don't know what's coming for the U.S. I don't know if this recession's going to really hurt, if it's going to be like a pain that we kind of have to have so that way the economy's a little bit more even. I don't know, but it's clear that something's coming. I think everybody kind of feels it. I don't know what it is. I'm not like a, in a what is it, the, the people that can see the future psychic. But here's what I will say. Something will happen. Prices will go up or they will go down. That much I can say for sure. The Fed is signaling more rate hikes ahead after its third straight 75 basis point increase Wednesday and Chair Jerome Powell warned of a housing correction. Goldman Sachs, Inc. expects home prices to flatten next year, but Zondi is more bearish and he predicts prices nationally will fall 5 to 10 percent from peak levels without a recession, as much as 15 percent in a mild recession, and they could crash by 25 percent in some of the most overheated areas, he said. I think the areas that are really, really going to have a crash are the places where those companies that were like auto robot buying houses were operating. Like they would just, you put in your address, they would calculate how much stuff around you had sold for and give you a cash offer right away. If you were operating one of those and you have a huge inventory of houses that you were expecting to flip for more than you paid you're probably going to be in quite a lot of pain, you know? Like, I don't think it's going to be a situation where you're going to make a bunch of profit on everything that you have in stock right now. In fact, there's a house in my neighborhood that sold to, like, one of those places that offered cash for his house, and uh, I was talking to him about it, and he literally told me, that what he sold it to them for, there was no way they were going to be able to sell it for more and they were definitely going to lose money. And they listed it for more than they uh, bought it for, obviously trying to make a buck and it sat for a while and now it is officially selling for less than they paid for it. And they put a bunch of work in. So I think a lot of those places that are hot markets are going to have some pain. I'm in Las Vegas, though, which definitely was pretty overheated these last few years. I don't know if that's everywhere in the nation. I don't know if that's in, like, the small to medium-sized towns as well. But I know large cities have had a super hot market. I don't know. I know some of you are probably bored by this topic. So uh, I'm going to move on, but I just thought it was interesting. For those of you that like the little bit of economic topics, let me know in the comments section down below. But if not, that's that's also okay. I get it. I get it. So uh, let's get back to something about people being stupid on the internet. 